Hello and welcome to this tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can create a clean uh, and nicely designed pop-out slicer panel in Power BI to maximise our dashboard real estate. We're going to take this in a few different steps, so we'll format the shapes and slicers, we'll download and import images from flaticons.net, these will form the panel buttons, we will look at the selection pane, and grouping bookmarks and then activating everything together for our pop-out slicer panel through custom buttons that we've already downloaded and imported. We're using one of my previous supply chain showcase dashboards and we're going to keep the pop-out slicer design consistent with this. So without further ado we're going to do the standard formatting for our slicers and get things started so I'm going to speed this part up double time. So I'll mention a few things when I'm doing the standard formatting for this pop-out slicer panel. So we start with the shape, this is the rectangle, and then we all we're actually doing is adding the slicers, the line shape, the text boxes. But what, what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to keep the design consistent, so sticking to primary or secondary colours. I have that white, that sort of goldish colour, and I also have the, the dark blue. Um, I'm also adding a, a shadow there just to add sort of an element to show that it is an overlay um, and we'll look at how we activate this with bookmarks and buttons but yeah just to be conscious of that we're we're looking to maximize dashboard real estate and screen space and all that good stuff but we also want a really clean design and that's important
So now that we have our slicers um, and, and our, the, the basis of our slicer panel set up, what we want to do now is add some icons and we're going to use three. We're going to use one as the header of this pop-out slicer panel and um, one that we will use to X out the slicer panel and one that we will use to activate it. So maybe an arrow or something to let the user know they can click here. And, and use their slicers. So to do this, I use a site called flaticons.net. Everything is royalty free and it's very good um, with the customization of any images that you want to download and it's very simple. So that's why I use it and that's where we'll be getting all our images today. So now that that's set up, we can just add that exit icon that I've also went and downloaded from flaticons.net. We, we went over downloading the first icon, but that's where I've got it um, just for time constraints. I won't do the whole process again. And we don't need to do anything right now, but we just need to know we need that here because it's going to show in our selection pane. And we will use this later to exit out of the panel. We'll assign an action to it. Now, if we navigate from the insert to the view ribbon and we click on selection, we now see our selection pane. Now, what this does, it shows us everything that's on our dashboard um, within the Z or the Z order, which just means it's the order in which we added these. So we can alter this if we want, we don't need to, but by control and clicking on each of these items, you'll see that they're selected on the dashboard. Now what we want to do once we have all of these selected and we're confident that we've captured everything, we can click on that ellipsis on any of the ellipsis, the three dots, and we can select group. You can also click control G and that will do the same thing. Now what we'll do, we'll rename it as well just for proper naming conventions and to make things easy when we go back to revisit this or someone else works on it, it, it keeps things um, nice and simple. So now we can click on bookmarks and we can start to add and edit our bookmarks. So the first one, we're basically taking a screenshot of the visual state. So we can just call this pop out slicer on because we have it on our screen and this will save it. We'll uncheck data because for the purposes of this tutorial, we just want a visual state. And you'll see in the selection pane, I click the hide icon. So that hides it. So now this can be our pop-out slicer off. So you see how selection and grouping became very helpful there. Because now, as I navigate the, between the two, I have the functionality where I've got the, the two states on and off, and all I had to do was hide the item from the selection that we previously grouped. So it's very intuitive once you get your head around how selections and bookmarks work together. So now we're sort of winding down the, the few last things we need to do um, we can add this button this image that we previously imported that's going to act as the button um, to activate our pop-out slicer panel so you can see like we said this is to preserve screen space if we didn't have this here we would take up a huge chunk with all of these slicers and if our end users report consumers whatever you want to call them want to use this then having a pop-out panel is so efficient
Now, in an ideal world, we may have added this uh, button to expand the pop-out slicer at the start of the process. You'll notice now when we click on it, it's present within our pop-out slicer, which we don't want. So we can actually, an easy way to get around this is just to simply hide this and we can update the bookmark. So that's what we're going to do. Um, rename it. We just have to be cautious that we remember to update the, the action against the button to the new bookmark as, as it will change routing. So we need to be careful that we do that. And lastly, this X at the top of our pop-out slicer to exit out of it, we will wire up this button, assign an action to it. Uh, and again, we're gonna use a bookmark and um, we'll choose pop-out slicer off. We'll also create a tooltip to help users know and everything should work as expected. There we have it, a nice clean pop-out slicer panel that sticks with the design theme of our supply chain dashboard. We can drill down on our data, make data-driven decisions in an instant, and it's a nice feature to have. So as usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.